Good evening to the house at last. Ladies and gentlemen, without wasting further time, I'd like to move straight into my rebuttals and just by firstly disproving side opposition, uh, opposition's first point of why conservation is a necessity, ladies and gentlemen. Firstly, the conservation of, of, of um, nature, ladies and gentlemen, through these coal fired power stations, ladies and gentlemen, and green energy is inefficient, ladies and gentlemen. And for something like that to be a necessity, it needs to be efficient. Something that can actually um, contribute to South Africa as a whole population and without harming it or without having a negligible effect on the change which we would have within um, South Africa. Now, what I'll be weighing out tonight is why is conservation of these green energies through um, conserving nature is bad for South Africa and on three levels. Then I'll also be analyzing the problem we have with green energy and I'd also be analyzing the point of um, nuclear power versus green energy and the nature of nuclear power as well. Now moving into my first, first point as well of the, why we have this problem of green energy. Firstly, green energy does not provide an efficient solution to the problem we have established in my first speaker's speech as well. He said that South Africa is in a crisis for energy and therefore we need a solution that can, solve, that can uh, efficiently solve the problem which we have established. So something that can uh, provide energy for the whole of South Africa without having a negligible effect. And that's what green energy has there, children. Like my first speaker mentioned, with all the investments we could see from solar power, by 2030, it would only have an output of 0.7%, which is very negligible in a, in a country which is growing and which the demand for energy management is so high. Then we have to look at the input and output gap, which we are going to establish as our proposition. Firstly, the input we have for solar power, wind power, and hydro energy power management. It, I, uh, isn't isn't as efficient as well. and the and input we have with this is very uh, costly. Firstly, we spend billions and billions of rand just investigating in something like uh, green energy legislation, something that is not established. No, yeah, thank you, man. Something that is not established as, um, as yet. While we look at nuclear energy, something that has established itself as something that can be trusted, something that we can guarantee you benefits for, even though it's not for the current, but for the long-term measurement, that's what we want for South Africa. Because um, when, when we have uh, this a problem, which can't be solved with green energy, we will be just be wasting money on something that we can't guarantee benefits from. While investing in something we, which we can guarantee benefits from, will benefit South Africa as a whole and at the end of the day, ladies and um, Now I'd like to move into my second point of why something like um, uh, green energy and coal-fired power stations at current can't coexist, ladies and gentlemen. Because coal-fired power stations gives us such a big problem that we can't have green energy energies with a negligible effect because um, the, uh, uh, the, the harm that, uh, uh, that the coal-fired power stations gives us is not being solved the solution which uh, green energies gives us. So therefore, investing in something like this is totally unnecessary. That thus disproving some uh, opposition's first point of the necessity of conserv conservation of, um, of, of nature through green energy. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to move into my second point, which is weighing up the nature of these nuclear powers versus the, the green energy. And we have to look at why, what the luxury is we, we are looking for in today's debate. Is it really necessary for us to invest in something that won't give us the benefits? Is it really so necessary for something to explore into something which we are not assured of? And that's what we get with green energy, ladies and gentlemen. All, all we have, um, all benefits that we have are only calculated and not only theoretical measurement. While we have cold hard facts from nuclear power benefits, yes, it is cost measurement. But at the end of the day, it benefits a country like South Africa, in which the demand for something like this is greater than uh, is greater than anything we would experience in the years coming measurement. And that's why we need something that can fill that gap. 
And that's what side pro uh, opposition needs to come up in a time of statement. They need to tell us how you're going to fill that problem solution gap with this green energy. They need to tell us that firstly, our problem that we have established is, is, is correct instrument and how they will solve our problem of a great demand by only having green energies of an output that is by 2030 only going to be 0.7% with the government investing billions and billions of uh, rands into this. Benjamin, I'd like to move into my final point, which is the afford. Benjamin, can South Africa, a country like I've mentioned, the demand of its energy is such as is, is, is escalating every day and every year, Benjamin, that we can't afford having something that is inefficient. So whilst our opposition was thinking about the motion, they might have thought afford as a cost Benjamin, but we also, also have to look at in the efficiency of a certain thing. Efficiency is the key to this debate, Benjamin. If something provides efficiency, then we can prove to you that it will actually benefit society, it will benefit the people of South Africa and, uh, and um, in, in the long run. So therefore, if you don't have something that is um, that can be proved as a necessity measurement and something that we see as green energy as being a luxury, so a luxury being something that is unnecessary, unnecessary as I proved to you, because it doesn't provide um, efficient, uh, um, efficiency within South Africa. Therefore, we can't give South Africa the solution to the problem which we have established. Now, why is this conservation, which we have spoken to you about in today's debate, such a, a, a free energy, such a bad thing for South Africa as a whole? Because firstly, we don't have the finances for something like green energy. We don't have the expertise there, and then there's no, there's no, um, there's, there's no market for something to be guaranteed to give the South Africans of today, uh, tomorrow, and uh, whenever they um, tangible benefits that we can provide for them for the years coming. So wh when you don't have the finances, there, you're just going into something blindly without knowing the full benefits of it. While we have nuclear power, which can provide tangible benefits, like we already know, the output that you can, um, like my first speaker said, one gram of uranium, which in fact is a byproduct of gold, is, is equal to t uh, tons, a uh, thousand of tons of coal-fired power, uh, power station efficiency. And just that statistic should be enough to prove to you the efficiency of having nuclear power above um, above the specific um, above the uh, conservation of having conservation of nature through having green energy and therefore I thank the house.